We are so proud of you, Galia, what you've achieved in your life. And we are, we are so blessed to have our granddaughter here today as well. Galia wrote these herself. I love her to bits. She knows it well. That's why she gets away with everything. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to open the door, Rob, to you hear your little stories <laughs> and I hope you will continue coming and tell us more stories good ones or bad ones we don't mind good afternoon everyone and uh, you're all very welcome and we gather in God's name we are all glad to be here and Galia you always look splendid but wow today what you're looking splendid we're gathered to celebrate the sacrament of marriage. Galia and Robbie, you're bringing yourselves to this marriage. And God is saying that I love you. I love you as Robbie loves Galia and as Galia loves Robbie from this day forth. It is a very, very simple message but it's the only message that God wants to communicate, that each one of us are loved. Galia is a credit to her parents, Stacia Neville. Patient, gentle, good company, excellent mother, I have no doubt that she and Robbie will get on very well. And last but not least, your host for the evening, the lovely bride and groom, Galia and Robbie. First of all, a very warm welcome to all our new guests. No, look, in all seriousness, as I said, I've known Robbie all of my life. And I can honestly say he is an amazing person. He's such a kind-hearted, generous, thoughtful person. And I'm so glad to be standing up here next to him this evening. He's an excellent father, and I know he'll make a brilliant husband to Gally. Yeah, yeah. 25 minutes late, but it was worth the wait. <laughs> Beautiful, love you to bits and all that crap. <laughs> <laughs> the proof will be in the pudding. We've been so proud of you today, Gal. 100%. So proud of you. Robbie. Ah, Robbie. <laughs> One day you too will be old. <laughs> you're, um, you're a great companion. And I know Cotton's my best man, but you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> 